Now, I was sent this article, and I just couldn't believe some of the stuff that these ladies were saying they were doing to their boyfriend and or husband. And the funny thing about it is, if a man step out on his woman, it's put out there to the world, he's a horrible human being, he needs to be kicked off the planet Earth, why would he do her like that? This is why you can't trust men, all men cheat. But when women put their stories out there, look what happened. Now, from the looks of this tweet, September 19, 2021. So this tweet is a little bit over two years old. How come nobody talks about it when women cheat? How come it's only made public when a man do something? I mean, think about it. It's only made public when a man do something. You see what I'm saying? This lady here, Olani, if I said it right, said, ladies and ladies only, I want you to DM me the crazy story of what truly happened when you text him, apologize and fall asleep. Were you on a date? Were you with a person you told your partner not to worry about cheating or sleeping on someone else? DM me, please. Then she says, all DMs will be anonymous by default. Amazing experience. So, she's even hiding who these people are. See, me, I wouldn't even put it out there whether it's true or not true. Because once you put something on the internet, people have the right to believe it or not believe it. Me being married to a wonderful woman, I wouldn't even put it out there that I, that I did. Even though I didn't, I wouldn't put that perception out there is what I'm trying to say. Because what if my wife was to see this one day? And, and, and you know women are going to automatically believe you, you you stepped out. Whether you did or you didn't, they're going to they're gonna automatically believe you stepped out. So why even put it out there? And let's just say one of these ladies made Olani mad. You know how women are vicious towards other women. Olani can go back and, and, and make it unanonymous. <laughs> And show the world that what this particular woman said. And when I read some of these stories, I was like, wow. When If a man was to step out on his woman, y'all have been and tried to kill him. So, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and read these stories. Now, I want fellas to understand. Women are stepping out just as much as men. I don't give a damn what society tells you, what you think. Women are more sneaky with their uh, stepping out, with their cheating, than men. Men don't think. Men just say, oh, I'm going to get some pussy and go get it. Women, they plan shit because they don't want you to know, of course. And, of course, they're trying to keep their perception that all women are innocent. So, so, so. That's the reason why it's harder to catch a woman cheating. Now, I'm not saying you can't catch a cheating because I caught a couple of girlfriends of mine and my ex-wife cheating on me. But it's not as easy to catch a woman as it is a man. Because like I just said, men just sniffing some pussy and just go get it. They'll fuck, fuck a woman in the middle of the street and don't give a damn. Women, they go and plan shit. Bruce Bruce said this one time on a comedy show. He said, women are thinking while you sleep at night. He said, have you ever noticed you can wake up in the middle of the night, look at your girl, she's staring right at you? That's because women thinking. They're thinking, how they going to do this? How they going to do that? So if you ever catch a girl cheating on her, he said, believe that somebody told on her. <laughs> oh, man. Now, nah, but, but, um, and he said, what else did Bruce Bruce say? He said, when a man cheat, he cheat with a co-worker or next door neighbor, wondering how she found out. When a woman cheats, she cheat with someone that live across town or out of town. <laughs> That's because they plan shit when it comes to stuff like this. Men don't plan it. I'm sorry. Men just go straight forward. That's just how our brains are thought or why we just... A lot of times we'll think we'll think stuff throughout throughout the future, like with our money and our living situation. But when it comes to getting some pussy, we just go. 
Women, they think they plan shit. But in this case, yeah, I want y'all to read these stories. I'm going to read them to you. I want y'all to pay attention. Excuse me. Because these women, oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. All right, the first one says, Hi, online. I told my babes at the at the time I fell asleep early, but I had really gone to a MFM threesome, which means male, female, male. So she she was getting destroyed by two men. And he didn't know, oh, my God, that she says, I, I had such an amazing experience, one dick in the mouth, and another in the cooch. Those men really took care of me that night. I stayed over, so I was I was asleep for about eleven hours that night. See, so you go then you gonna go to your man, and he's gonna. Mm. You see how disrespectful that is. Now let a man say. He just had sex with one woman other than his wo than his woman. Ooh-wee. You already know how this going to go. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. I was cheating with someone who's even his dad's age, having orgasm left, right, and center. Basically passed out from how much fun I had. Woke up the next morning and said, a cute little good morning and sorry I fell asleep. Wish I was studying. While I was studying. With, yeah, I think that meant to say while I was studying. Yeah, okay. Enjoyed it so much. I do I do it regularly and I'm even seeing Mr. Ass Eater in about two and a half, about two, three hours. Yeah, I'm reading that all wrong. About two or three hours, don't don't just don't we just love Sundays? Yeah, I read that all wrong. I'm gonna read that again because I read that all wrong. <laughs> Enjoyed it so much. I do it regularly and I'm even seeing Mr. Ass Eater in about two, three hours. Don't we just love Sundays? So is she saying that she's eating his ass or he's eating her ass? Because if she's eating his ass, and then you go back to your man, mm. see, I just want to know, every time us men do videos like this, where is all of y'all feminists at to come out and tell these women that they are wrong for stepping out on their man? All of y'all hashtag equality, kill all men, only men create chaos in the world, women are sweet and innocent. Where all of y'all at on stories like this? Whenever we, us men, put it out there that women are doing horrible shit just as much as men, y'all are quiet. Y'all are so quiet. And I've seen tons of videos where men will put out stories that women are doing this and doing that. And not one of y'all women come out and say anything. Where y'all at? Y'all want to be treated fairly? Come on. You got to put the good with the bad. That's just how it goes. It goes together like winning and losing. Like peanut butter and jelly. Like trash in a trash bag and trash can. It all goes together. You can't pick and choose. Stop putting out the perception that only men do horrible shit in this world. Women do it too. We have shows so many stories. And I have yet to see one feminist movement, one hashtag kill all men, one, one, any one of these women that really so hard believe in this shit come out and say anything, at least on my videos. Because y'all know uh, 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 what we're saying is true. Then y'all just want to put out a perception only men do it. So men said, okay, we're going to show you that it ain't just us. Because men do do horrible shit. You can't deny it. But we're going to show you that it ain't just us. Let me go ahead and get to the next one. Hi, Olani. I told my baby daddy I was asleep, but I was 
taking the best dick of my life. He was ringing my phone with, what, who is all these people? <laughs> While, that's what I think it meant to say. While my tongue was in this man's ass. Oh my God, see what I mean? Then you're going to go home and kiss your man. Mm. Another call, he was sucking my, my toes and making me squirt. Best night ever. Now, now let another man just say he kissed a woman. Boy, mm, mm, mm. here go the next one. I'm t talking to a guy that's really romantic and is everything I want. We are g even going to on holidays together. Anyways, I went out and it, and I. Anyways, I went out and in up. I get think the men say ended up having a one night stand. I stopped messing or messaging around 11 p.m. Only replied the next day afternoon, claiming I was was not feeling well. The only reason why I replied it is because he messaged me asking why wasn't I answering my door. Uh, and Florio lady was downstairs. Interior, yeah, whatever. Trying to deliver flowers. Got my flowers delivered and got my back blown out again one more time. I felt so bad about that one night stand was everything. Now, don't women say they want men like that that's romantic? And y'all still step out on them. Guys, now let me go ahead and say this here. Because women love to use this when we know when they know we're right. This is their only argument. Not all. Not all. That's the only argument when they know we are right. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, fellas, don't think this is all women that's cheating. Please don't think that. What I try to do is just let you know that it's out there. Because women love to paint the picture that it's only men. So men are telling y'all, okay, we're going to show you that it ain't just us doing crazy, horrible stuff in the world. It's women too. And I notice every time someone makes videos that's for men, they get, they get their channel demonetized or taken down. I noticed that. I have noticed that. So many people have said that. So many people have, 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 have oh my God. You know what? I, I, yeah, let me just go ahead and keep going. But have, don't women say they want a man that's sweet and romantic? This woman started off saying, I'm talking to a guy that's really romantic and everything, everything I want. So if you're getting everything you want from this guy and he was delivering flowers to your door, that's crazy. That you get your back blown out and you, oh my God. So that means this man's being romantic to you. He's everything that you want. Then why are you mistreating him? Wow. See, you can't make these women happy. See, they tell you they want this and want that, but really they don't want it. This is proof. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get to the next one. I was seeing a guy who, who had good dick, but he was kind of boring. So a guy I used to speak speak to relocated from France for work. He contacted me randomly to come come out there. I went for the weekend, was wine and dine, then ended the night with some good dick. I sent my my I sent my fellow sleep text at 10 a.m. Then said I was working night shifts the next two days so he wouldn't interrupt. Then they start speaking French. I don't know what that means. But. See, these women are stepping down on us too, fellas. Do men cheat? Yeah, men cheat. It, it's no denying that. See, men will be honest with it. Yeah, men do cheat. But you see, women do it too. So, fellas, it's not to say that all women cheat because that's a lie. But it's just to say be careful. Keep your guard up. Just start noticing different things. Just start paying attention. Even when you just meet her, just start paying attention. Just don't feel right. You know what I mean? 
And don't be afraid to speak up. Speak your mind. You know? Girl, where do I even begin? Oh, Lord. <laughs> so I was dating this guy, really sexy, super nice. Then I met his family, and my word, my world, word, was his dad a sex, and my word was his dad a sexier, more delicious version of him. Huh? Yeah, whatever. Long story short, after the next family dinner, his dad told. Again, here we go. Woman says, so she, I was dating this guy, really sexy, super nice. And then what they say they want, they want a nice guy, good looking man, all that stuff. And see, he gets stepped out on by his dad. Dad is no good. See, I told you, men just go after the pussy. You're going to get to us. We're going to take it. His dad? Come on, ladies. And y'all get mad if we step out on you with your friend, your cousin. It don't get no closer than close family like dad, brother, sister, mom. It don't get no worse than that. Oh, my God. All right, let's go to the next one. <sighs> okay, so... I counseled on the guy I was dating around three months at this point and rescheduled for the next night just so I could get my back, my black blown up. They didn't mean to say back. Woo -wee. These women here, boy, 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 they need to go get a better education. They'd rather have sex than get an education or, you know, proofread what they wrote before they send it. I mean, I know we all mess up, but God damn, <laughs> this is too much. Anyway. Uh, get my black blow, blown out by a previous uh, FWB, I don't know what that means, at a hotel he was staying at. I remember he texted me like 10 p.m. just chit and chat, chit, chit chat, and I didn't reply till the next morning. Sorry, I fell asleep, babe. Now, babes, I was, I was busy getting, getting stressed out. The next night, I went on a date with him and got my back blown out by him, too. That was fabulous. That was a fabulous weekend. Whew. I have zero grace. He never found out, but he turned out to be sleeping with multiple women. So he was and still is the bad guy in this situation, and we love, love to see it. Yeah, I know y'all love to see it, and we love to see it. Yeah, we, I know y'all love to see Men doing wrong. How is he the bad guy? Both of y'all is the bad guy. Both. See what I mean, fellas? They love to paint the picture that you are the bad guy. Both of y'all is the bad guy. You see that? Let's go ahead and go to the next one. You see that? Come to find out he was sleeping. He was still asleep. Oh, wait a minute. But he turned out to be sleeping with multiple women. So he was and still is the bad guy in this situation, and we both love to see it. See what I mean? So there's no accountability for what she did. But she going to hold him accountable for what he did. See what I mean? Both of them. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, this one is kind of cut off, so I'm going to start for well. See, the week and what day they were off work. Yeah, okay. I, I Well, this one's kind of cut off, so it might not sound right when I start reading what, what I can read. So, one of my rotations, uh, rain check, I would date, but he takes the next night before to make up for make up for it. By then, I was already heading to my second favorite's house. I knew it was her day off. Her day off? From my Excel sheet. And she always gives me one of the best head I've ever had. So this must be a guy right here. That's what I'm thinking. The guy texted me. 
Oh, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, this is a woman. I ain't read this one. I misunderstood it or something. So this is a woman getting with another woman. The guy texts me, I know you're sleeping right now. Let's do dinner tomorrow. I remember texting him the, the day after. Sorry, it was girls' nights. Oh, so it was. See? Mm. Huh, okay. There... So there's more. There go one more. I'm gonna go ahead and read that one. I wasn't gonna stop, but I'm gonna go ahead and read this one. So I must have didn't. I must have didn't read that one or forgot about it or something. But anyway, see, fellas, all I'm just saying is just be careful. Try your best to pay attention and be careful. Hi, Olana. So I was seeing this super jealous guy. He was driving to driving to me from another city late late at night with his friends so I could meet them and his his and his next girl or whatever. And his next girl? Okay. I don't know what that means, but all right. But when a guy I had a crush on for ages but had a girlfriend messaged me declaring he was single, I jumped at the chance and invited him over. I don't know if it was the crush or the feeling of being sneaky. But the guy rocked my world. After afterwards, I saw the angry text from the jealous guy. So I was, so while I was, so while sneaky link was in the shower, I sent the guy, I sent guy, I sent my guy a whole video of my empty room. Yeah, that, that that didn't, I don't know. That story didn't end well. I don't know exactly. But anyway, so a guy was driving from another city to come see you. And, yeah. This, so he putting in the effort to come see you and be with you, and this is what he gets? See, fellas, this is why. Let me scroll back to the top. There's a lot of stories, on, and I know more. I just didn't get them all, but I know there were more. Going by this thread. Woo wee. But you see, fellas, they don't care about us. Women step out on men as well. Women cheat just as much. They're not going to admit it because they're trying to keep this image that women are sweet and innocent. But fellas, these women are doing the same shit we are. I'm going to use women's tactics. Not all, not all. Because yet, even though they only use that when they know we're telling the truth and they have no argument, it is the truth. Not all women are doing this. But, fellas, this is just to say, be careful. Women are doing the same shit we do. So think about it, fellas. Women cheat just as much as men, if not more. But think about it. 